So today we are going to be learning how to cover your square cake using the paneling method. First of all, you dust some icing sugar on your table to prevent your fondant from sticking. Then you need your fondant to make it pliable to work with. You then color your fondant with the color of your choice as you can see in this video. In this video, I'm coloring mine with um, brown color. Roll out your fondant to be thick like in this video. Then you can decide to use any pattern of your choice. In this video, I'm using an embosser to create a pattern. Measure the width and the height of your cake. My cake was 9 inches wide, 6 inches tall. So I cut out my fondant to 10 inches wide, 7 inches tall. You can cut out all the sides of your cake first and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can put it in the fridge to set for 5 to 8 minutes. But I preferred mine out of the fridge. We are going to panel the top of our cake first to reduce the visible steam from the front of the cake. Now when cutting out the fondant, for the top of the cake, you have to be careful so that you don't have too much excesses to work with. So my cake is a 9 inch cake. When I'm trimming out my fondant, I cut it out 10 by 10. Then I flip the cake upside down to trim out the excess fondant. Note, you can see I have trimmed the board under my cake to help with the movement. I couldn't trim my fondant properly so I had to exchange the board that will give me the flexibility I need. After all the trimming, then you take your next fondant panel and place against the side of the cake just as I am doing in the video. Use your hand or fondant smoothener to press the fondant to the buttercream to make a good connection. If you're using American buttercream or ganache, you may need to mix the surface with water before attaching the fondant to get it to stick. You repeat the process with the next sides of the cake. Now at the place where, your jo where, where the two fondant join, you use your edible gum to stick the fondant together. Use your fondant smoothener to put them in place firmly, just the way I'm doing in the video, and trim out the excesses carefully. If there is any gap in between, use your smoothener to push the two edges together. Trim out all the excess fondant cleanly and repeat the process for all sides.
flip your cake and using your smoothener, fix up the edges and trim off any excesses. Paint your cake and there you have it, all done and perfect. Thank you for watching.